Yeah, so today we're just here um, gathering and mobilizing around something called the Akul movement, which is enough is enough. Um, so Eritrean people have been subject to a dictatorship for the last 28 years. Um, there is no rule of law, there's no constitution, there is essentially no protection for their basic civil liberties and human rights. And so um, Eritrea gained its independence in the early 90s and many people were hopeful that this was going to be a new chapter for a really promising East African nation and it has been the complete opposite. Um, people have no ability, no mobility or hope of achieving an education. Their lives are completely ruled by fear and it has um, forced the people to flee um, en route to a better life outside of the country. And in doing so, there's become, um, we have one of the highest populations of refugees. We're producing the highest number of um, refugees, top 10, I think. And um, essentially, people are risking their lives by potentially um, drowning in the Mediterranean um, Sea, um, being enslaved in Libya. There's a civil war going on right now, and people are basically risking death. Um, than, rather than staying back in the country. And so we're here to raise awareness about what's happening and also to deliver a letter to our senators um, because there are many Eritreans who come at the border seeking asylum um, of the United States and they are being deported. And just last year, we had a young, um, a young brother who committed suicide in a detention center because he did not want to go back home because he knew he would be risking um, his family's life and his own life. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to just spread the word and the cause um, about what's going on back home. Um, it's extremely, extremely encouraging. I think for a lot, for a long time, we felt like we were in our own silos speaking to the wind about what's happening back home. Um, if anything, this is just a, a beautiful moment to reflect on that this is only the beginning for our people and for the, strug the struggle of resistance against um, years and years of tyranny and dictatorship. Um, and so I'm just, I'm very encouraged by what's happening here today. Am I missing anything like to add? No, I think that's perfect. Oh, um, follow Reclaim Eritrea, One Day Siyum, and um, the Yaakul hashtag on Twitter. <laughs> Mr. Adair must go! Mr. Adair must go!